similar to me. The stars don't shine so bright. Seem like to me, the sun and lost its light. Seem like to me, there's nothing going right. Since you went Since you went away. Good evening. I said good evening. Good evening. <laughs> we are gathered here today to remember a life, a life that was taken from us far too soon, a life that never really met its full potential, a life that was senselessly stolen from the fabric of time. American political journalist Norman Cousins said, death is not the greatest loss in life. The greatest loss is what dies inside while we live. To expound this quote, I quickly realized it's sadder when this internal death could have been prevented. For those of you who are new to our congregation, my name is Terrence Brown, and I've been asked to say a few words about the deceased black boy Joy. As I thought about my words today, it was far hard to find the appropriate text to embody what the deceased meant to this world. As I continued to mull over this eulogy, I thought it important to begin by defining who was Black Boy Joy. Black Boy Joy was powerful, and because of this power, he was a threat to society. He created tangible images of the pursuit of happiness Happiness. How many people in here have felt true happiness? Take a moment. Close your eyes. Let your mind wander back to a moment of pure bliss, a time when gaiety was bountiful and love flowed from every pore of your body. Now imagine that being ripped away as quick as a shutter of a camera lens. You see, that's what happened to black boy Joy. His happiness was pulled from his grasp with every routine traffic stop, with every fo shallow follow through in a retail store, in a moment in being called a nigger while simply getting in his car after work. According to an article released by the Pew Research Center in the year 2020, there were 1,501 black prisoners per 100,000 black Americans in the U.S. This is compared to 797 Hispanics and 268 white males. Of these, how many were justifiable imprisonments? How many of these could have been prevented if black boy Joy were not killed? You may ask, how do we foster joy within black boys? First, we must move from spectatorship to participation. We must lift up black boy joy. We must help this new life learn that he matters with no strings attached. We must embrace his spirit. And lastly, we must show him that he belongs. The interconnectivity of the human spirit is hard to define. Our ability to connect creates platforms of resilience and opportunity. We must love black boy joy. We must encourage and empower him. We must let him know that his joy is deserved and not earned. The preservation and the significance of black boy joy was defined simply in the fact that he exuded beauty. That beauty was shown in 14-year-old Emmett Till, who was wrongfully convicted and executed in the electric chair for allegedly killing two young white women. It was said at, at five foot one, one inch tall, he, he was too little for the electric chair at 90 pounds. In fact, the adult-sized face mask that they gave him fell off after the first shock, revealing his wide-open, tearful eyes to the spectators and saliva dripping from his mouth. 
it was said that the prison guard shot him in the head to put him out of his agony. What about the black boy joy that was taken from George Stinney Jr. and also Emmett Till? Emmett Till was special because at 14 year olds, he was abducted, tortured, and lynched for wrongfully looking at a white woman in her family's retail store. The preservation of joy in black males is vital to our survival. Black boy joy was not born to dismiss anyone else's joy, but to allow him to be happy, proud, and free. My joy, excuse me, my death occurred when I was eight years old. My, my death resulted in years of suppressed emotions, which lost, led to a loss of intimacy. And intimacy, in its basic sense of the word, is defined as closeness. And that closeness allows us to have meaningful relationships that enrich our lives. I hope each day as I reconstruct my joy that I'm able to love my friends more sincerely, love my wife more dearly, and teach my son to protect his joy, and lastly learn that emotional intelligence is not a hindrance, but an asset. Ten minutes. It took just ten minutes for a jury to wrongfully convict George Stinney Jr. It would be 70 years before he was exonerated, 67. The number of years since they stolen from Emmett Till, who would have celebrated his 81st birthday this year. Will you help me? This is your charge. This is your duty. Never should another 10 minutes or years of stolen life kill black boy joy again. Thank you.